During the break, Christopher Curvin still staying very active, and our heat leader, Luis Diaz, is still picking off the best wave speed. He is, man, and it's been uh, so easy. It really, you know, priority seems to be falling into his lap. Um, everything going his way at this point. You've got uh, two surfers like Jake Marshall and Curvin at this point trying to find that rhythm, find that ability to lock into some good waves. Even with um, Jake having priority, he made a choice to make a little uh, run to the inside right as you see another replay of that last one of Diaz. And I think this is going to be his best wave yet. Looking crisp, compact, powerful. Judges love seeing that. So he's going to extend his lead once again. But Jake Marshall made a run to the inside with priority and uh, just took a 1.3. So now he's had to move himself back up the ladder. You know, that the sets happened where Luis took the wave after Jake, ends up getting an eight. So again, that's that part where sometimes you feel a little antsy. Jake's just got to settle in here. He's uh, not looking for a huge score. He actually, matter of fact, with that 5.6, has himself in second. So Rubens now is the one with priority who's going to have to will a wave in here because only looking for a 4.4. It's a very close matchup here in this second semifinal. Three guys representing the USA using this as a qualifier for World Junior Championships. And Luis Diaz showing up just to take down some huge names. Got Mori representing Japan in the final. Raposa will try to keep this one on the home court. Won by USA surfer Griffin Colapinto last season. But look at Diaz improving on every single exchange. Start off with pocket sixes, improved to pocket sevens, and now is high marking 8.33. Talk about confidence when he got sixes to start. He knew he had more in the tank, and he just keeps flexing that, improving, forcing the judges to put him in the excellent range. Had to, you know, and that's the thing is you set the scale at some point, and you just try and build on it. I mean, he, if you were to look at a blueprint of a heat for Luis, that would be it. You know, two solid scores out of the gates, build from there, and then cut loose. Get yourself into the excellent range. He's done that, looking at a 15.66 two-wave total. Uh, you know, the nearest surfer to him is Jake Marshall, looking for a 9.79. So he has got a very comfortable position, and you can see he is just taking the back seat. He's chilling, going to stay out of the fray, make sure that he doesn't uh, make any, you know, priority errors or, you know, get into interferences. He's pretty much got a lock to get into the final. 